After I posted a video about my last rifle build project, I got numerous emails from people asking me about skin bedding. Specifically, people really didn't seem to understand what skin bedding is. There is no real exact definition of skin bedding that everyone will agree upon. <laughs> but the term skin, skin bedding is generally in reference to a light epoxy coating, epoxy bedding over an existing bedding block. And you usually put the epoxy into the recoil coil lugs and in the uh, front and rear receiver screw areas. In addition to skin bedding over an aluminum bedding block, like you see in some chassis and some fiberglass or composite rifle stocks, um, you can also skin bed over an existing epoxy bedding job. And some factory rifles with wood stocks are even skin bedded from the factory, even though something like that really isn't ideal. But skin bedding is in contrast to bedding methods like pillar bedding or full epoxy bedding, where a lot of material is relieved out of the stock and all of the contact surfaces are bedded. Skin bedding is the fastest and easiest way to bed, you know, uh, and only requires minor relieving and roughing of the bedding block in order to start bedding on it. You know, then you put a thin layer of epoxy, probably around, uh, probably less than 120 thousandths thick, and uh, you put it in the, uh, the recoil lug recess area, the front of the action and the rear of the action at the tang. And before you ask or put a comment down in the comment section, I'm not going to show you how to bed a stock in this video. There's thousands of stock bedding videos on YouTube, and you can watch them for days and not even see half of them. In this video, I'm just going to show you what skim bedding is and explain to you why we do it. I skim bed all of my stocks that have aluminum bedding blocks in them. No matter what the stock maker claims, no bedding block is going to be a perfect fit for your action. There's either going to be loose fitment, either side to side or back and forth, torque stress, or a combination of both that will negatively affect accuracy and precision with your rifle. So when I want to skim bed an action into a stock with a bedding block in it, my goal is to use the least amount of epoxy necessary to eliminate movement and torque stress. This usually means that you'll be bedding the lug channel and uh, the front action area where the action screw comes through and the rear tang where the rear action screw comes through. Bedding the lug channel prevents movement under recoil and bedding the front of the action and the rear tang prevents torque stress, which is the flexing of the receiver when you torque down the action screws. Now, what I don't want you to take away from this video is that I'm telling you that you have to skim bed anything with a chassis in it, because that's also not exactly correct. You know, for instance, this great accurate innovation stock with this uh, aluminum chassis in it, um, you know, the uh, pre-64 Model 70 that I had in here, Shot so great out of this, you know, just under a half MOA. I just did never bothered bedding it, you know, and I checked for uh for hot spots on this and points of no contact and everything contacted great. It's just a really well designed stock, and it just happened to fit that particular pre sixty four model seventy barreled action perfectly. So I just left it alone. I'm sure I could have skin bedded it and got a little bit more out of it, but uh, this was a hunting rifle. It was shooting under half MOA, and I was happy with that. Also, you may not want to bother bedding a stock, especially uh, a chassis, if you plan on uh, switching out different barreled actions in it. You know, for instance, this uh, MDT chassis right here with this uh, aluminum V-block in it, does a pretty decent job 
of uh, centering everything up and shooting reasonably accurate. Is it going to shoot as accurate as a rifle with a proper bedding job? No, it's not. You're going to shave a, a little bit of accuracy out of a properly bedded rifle. But um, this will shoot pretty darn good with a lot of barreled actions. And um, I can uh, I have that versatility of switching different barreled actions in and out of it. You know, you, know, you have to decide whether you want to do a bedding job on your rifle or not. Uh, but it's not completely necessary in all cases. And another thing you'll notice after you bed a stock is you often change barrel harmonics to some extent. Now, skim bedding an aluminum chassis like this, you're not going to change barrel harmonics to a large degree. But often, you know, a, a full bedding job will change barrel harmonics drastically. But, you know, a simple skim bedding job could do it too. And what you usually find after you bed a stock is that you often need to uh, uh, tweak or play with your loads a little bit more to uh, get back into a different accuracy node. But once you do that, you'll really uh, recognize the benefits of bedding a stock. So this is why bedding is very important. Watch this movement in this. This is a pretty expensive HS Precision stock with a full-length aluminum chassis. And you see that movement right there. That's not good. And for the most part, we bed rifles because it removes that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bed this. And our next step is I'm going to rough this up and remove some material out of here so there's uh, more surface for the bedding to adhere to. And you can see uh, this is uh, ready to bed. I took a lot of some, well, a moderate amount of material off, roughed it up really good, and uh, wiped it all down with alcohol to get any hint of grease off of there. And I'm ready to skim bed this baby. This parting compound from High Score Gunsmithing is the best stuff I've ever used in my life. You know, and one of these little cans seems to last forever, too. So this is the stuff I really like. All right, so this skim bed job is officially done. It's dried up. It's cleaned up. It's shaped the way I want it. It's absolutely perfect. The rear tank fits perfect. The front fits perfect. Just uh, totally ideal. This is a best case scenario right here with skim bedding. Okay, so this skim bedding job is completely done. If you remember, before I bedded this rifle into this uh, HS Precision stock with an aluminum bedding block in it, there was a lot of front to back movement that would have definitely affected precision during recoil. In fact, that uh, front and back movement might have been so bad that the action screws, you know, may have been functioning as recoil lugs, which is very bad. To me, that loose fitment was totally unacceptable. So I just now put this action back into the stock with, uh, with no bottom metal and no uh, action screws attached to it. And you could clearly see that there is absolutely zero movement anymore in this. Not side to side and not front to back. I mean, this, uh, this is a rock solid connection between the action and the stock. And as far as I'm concerned, this is mission accomplished. And I hope that this video inspires you to learn how to bed your own stocks. It's really easy to do with minimal expenses as long as you're patient and you're good at following directions and paying attention to details. As you can see, this was a relatively easy bedding job and it completely eliminated the movement and loose tolerances that were visible in this stock when I first placed that action into it. 
This simple skin bedding job will add a noticeable increase in precision and consistency to this rifle. Many people buy stocks with bedding blocks on them and just slap their action in and kind of hope for the best. But sometimes they shoot good and sometimes they don't. But almost always a simple skin bedding job will make a rifle shoot better. A high quality barrel, a good stock, a simple bedding job, good glass, and solid load development is a recipe for a high performance rifle. So never underestimate the value of bedding a stock. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on skim bedding. You can reach me with any questions or comments at desertdogoutdoors at gmail.com. As always, thank you for watching and good hunting.